from the cocktails with Tia and the J. So I'm Turquoise. This is our mother, Janice, and my sister, Janice. And today we have a lot to discuss. Before we get into the topics, though, I do want to go ahead and um, do a, little, a quick little celebration of life for DMX. Today marks the one year of his, the anniversary of his death. And I'm repping him on my shirt. Okay. So today we do have a lot to discuss. Um, first, the rapper Gunu, his passing, not only his passing, but the way his funeral was held, his last great performance. Um, I want to talk about Toby and his girlfriend, Courtney, a, a lover's cool, you'll, you'll hear the story. The passing of Estelle Harris, the great actress from Seinfeld, Toy Story, Disney, Brother Bear, um, the podcast pivot and I think it's like NFL players mm -hmm. and Channing had a lot to say about Sierra and Russell's relationship and Black Lives Matter the we'll get into that let's, let's get started all right so for um the rapper Gunu um which is an interesting rap name his real name is Markel Maro. But um, he passed away, I believe it was March 18th, he was shot. Um, but not only is his family dealing with his death, now they're dealing with the backlash of his fans and everyone else because they decided to have his dead corpse inside of a nightclub to where everyone can see him. Um, go ahead and show the, the picture. All right, um, and I've seen this done before. Like I've seen it, not in like necessarily inside of a nightclub, but I have seen it in funeral homes where like they have somebody posted up in a chair or some, yeah. Like I've seen that too. Yeah, mm. so when I heard about it, I was like, it's not really that uncommon, but to have it be, to have the dead course inside of a nightclub in, fr in front of like so many people without that, it's uncommon. Um, mm. But his family did a quick news interview and let's go ahead and play what they have to say. Quite frankly, they say they don't understand the controversy surrounding all of this. Spoke with his mother tonight who says she should be able to grieve exactly how she wants. It's something I wanted to do. That's how Michael wanted me to do it. That's how he wanted to go out. He wanted to celebrate his life, turning up, having a party. He don't want people to be sad and crying. He always wants people to be happy and having fun. So what do you ladies, have, like, what are your opinions about that? Well, I would say, for one, like you said, this is not new. Mm -hmm. I've seen people being propped up and being buried in Cadillacs, you mm -hmm. know, with their mm -hmm. hands propped up on the steering wheel. And then I've seen people being buried with tons and tons of money, like, no, nobody can have it, almost like a fuck you to their families, in a sense. Like, this isn't new. I wouldn't say that this case should be called out That's more than any other case. Me personally though, I think it's all weird because I'm uncomfortable with death period. Like the idea of somebody just being gone in their body withering away to ashes is just something that kind of tugs at my heartstrings so I don't like to think about it. But I think it's weird. It's mm -hmm. like a taxi journey thing is what they did with that. When any situation, not even just them, all of the situations that I named, mm -hmm. I've always felt that was weird. I've always thought that was weird. But well, I to guess, each his own. Obviously, they but talk to, to each his about own. it, and that's the way he wanted to go out, to so each I don't his have own, a problem. Like, the, and, and you know what's crazy about it is? Seeing, like, the images of him... I wasn't as freaked out about it because it's crazy. like he I looks normally. It, <laughs> it looks like he's normal. But it didn't look like, like it, his, it, it didn't look it, like him. It, it, like when I went I back to, to look at, let me show you the, because when I went back to look at like what he looked like before, obviously you know he's paler. I mean because he's he's deceased. 
Right. Um. So it just looked. It was just creepy. To me, but again, to each his own. Yeah. Yeah. To each his own. And though I could say, hmm, okay, but still, like, yeah. he looked at just like a guy. I would like. You know how pe- they say he would be dying, be left. Like if if I saw that mm-hmm. standing up against the wall, like just standing, I I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah. That it was a person that was dead. I wouldn't have noticed. And that's kind of creepy. It's like I don't. I've always been creeped out by yeah. taxidermy squirrels and deer heads and any type of taxidermy. I've always been weirded out by. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely gonna be weirded out by it if it's a person. And you know, I watched the movie too, not too long ago. And it was um, like two party promoters fighting over like which club was gonna be the best, and they actually did that. Mm-hmm. Like one of the guys had prompt up, or had the guy floating up like an angel, he ended up falling. Oh, I can't remember what that God. was on, but it was a movie, and I was like, that reminded me of that. So it's not un- unheard of, but it is strange. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving along. So this. Okay. So. The death of Toby, not the mm-hmm. not the rapper, but he's a um, another Toby we fuck with, a Miami resident, and he was murdered by his girlfriend, Courtney Taylor. He's like an IG model. She has an OnlyFans. Only fans. Um, but what they're saying is that he was stabbed, fatally stabbed outside of uh, the apartments where they stayed, and not only that. Courtney was caught with like blood all over her body, obviously from because she murdered him. And she's out; she's not in jail. There is just a video that we posted on our page, our cocktails page on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you follow Cocktails and Opinions. Um, that shows her at a Mi- Miami hotel at the bar trying to get a drink, mm. and someone you know sees her and is like calling her out, and she ran. Um, but anyway, they were there first. She was arrested. First, she was was taken to a psychiatric ward because she was saying that, like, they were thinking that she was insane, um, pleading insanity. Mm. And then she t- flipped in was like, "Well, it's domestic violence." But um, when I initially heard the story, I was like, "Wow!" Like when I saw the news clip, I was like, "Oh, this is terrible!" Like a young African American man is fatally stabbed. Um, and I'm just like, "What in the world? Like this is awful." And then as I dig a little bit deeper. Well, not only was I di- digging in deeper to the story, but we was getting a lot of comments on our IG page of people saying, oh, he didn't mess with black women. Don't support him. Um, you know, saying awful things like he needs to burn in hell, like terrible, terrible mm. things. And I'm like, what? So my sister is like, he tweeted a lot of bad things, too. So I went onto his uh, Twitter page and I was just going through and not only did he tweet a lot of um, bad things about black women, but he reposted like a lot of a lot of things like there was this one. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the meme of the black girl and the black guy um, in bed, different houses in bed texting. And the guy's like, I want to be a rapper. And the black girl response was, well, you need to get a real job. And then they had a Caucasian woman at the bottom. She's like, I'll work seven jobs for you to pursue your rap career. So just like a lot of racial um, things to say about black women. I know Nisi has a lot to, Jenny has a lot I to do. say about this. Mom, do you have anything to say? I'll get let, started? Yeah, I'll let Nisi go. Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, first off. Oh, and we have some of the tweets, too. Yeah, please. So pull up, the, pull, pull up, up the, the tweets. tweets. Elijah. Sunday evening, Miami police were called to the Pariso condos in Edgewater, where they found Christian stabbed near lifeless. Medics rushed him to Ryder Trauma, where he later died. Police say this was a domestic situation, and they detained a woman not too long after the stabbing after they arrived. But she, Baker, acted, meaning that she had to involuntarily be taken to a mental health hospital. That woman has not been formally charged, so we are not identifying her. But Florida's Baker Act requires up to a 72-hour hold for evaluation. Okay, so that's the tweet. All right, so that was the video, the news clip, and then also some of his tweets. Um, go ahead, Jenny. Well, there, there's, it's, it's, there's so much that I have to unpack with this. Like, I... I feel bad. This man didn't deserve to die. Let me just get that off the table before I go on my tangent. Let me just get that off the table. No 
nobody deserves to die. I don't care what your preference is. You can date whoever you want to date. I am not against interracial dating. In fact, I advocate for it. I am not against interracial dating. I'm for love who loves you and all of that. My issue with this case is the same issue that I had with Stephen Clark, who was killed by police. Now, this in this case, is different. This is a man that was on his Twitter, and people are like, oh, he was 17, he was 18, he was 20. The latest disparaging tweet that he posted about black women was like in 2020. Something like that. That's two years ago. So, he clearly has a hatred for black women. The fact that... I want I, there's so much I want to say because another thing men that black men in particular if you don't like black women it's fine if you prefer white women or whatever race women why do you keep talking about black women like why can't y'all keep us out of your mouth why do y'all keep have to bring us up when y'all have a preference because I'm sitting up here feeling bad for not having a care for this man who was stabbed to death by his preference. He said, he made a post saying, all black women know how to do is shake their ass on TV. Yes. This girl was a, had an OnlyFans account. Mm -hmm. She was doing sexual acts. And she mm. showed off her body on and Instagram. showed off her body on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And that was his girlfriend. Mm. And she also ultimately killed him. But he's on Twitter talking about black women doing the same things that he loves her for doing. Th this is what drives me bonkers. And this is why I felt like this is just very, very in-depth to talk about. Because granted, he did not deserve to die. And look, she's not been arrested. They put her on a 72-hour hold. Mm -hmm. She's able to eventually go free and do whatever the fuck. She is matter free. Fact, she's at the Miami fact, Hotel. Yeah, she posted <laughs> after she killed him. Her having drinks at a bar. Yeah. She posted that on her page. And this is the man that this man was advocating for women like her. Versus women like us. Like we had, we over here minding our business. Us black women. We over here minding our business. And this motherfucker is posting about how we trash, we this, we that, while the woman he's with, who's a different race, white, is doing everything and this, I mean, and ultimately killed him. But they're talking about us online. Well, then we don't have to do nothing. We let, got, that's what I said. Let, let, come let, get him. You know what, let, or better yet, let the women that he advocate for advocate for him. I'm sad that he died. I hope, and I, you know what, I'm sad for his mom because mm -hmm. she's a black woman. Mm -hmm. I'm sad for his mom because regardless to how ignorant her son may be, mm -hmm. that's a mother that lost a child. Yeah. And I feel bad for her. I do. I pray for the family. I pray for his family. But as far as like trying to punish this woman and me throwing stones at this woman, that's not my job. I'm not doing that. I'm not throwing stones at this woman because this woman, according to him, is better than me. She deserves to be convicted of murder. She does deserve to get convicted, but I'm not about to fuck up here. If, if they don't convict her, that ain't my problem. You just have to pray now. I don't kind of really want to say too much, but that's what make me upset with the skin color. Because I think she just... It shouldn't even matter. But that's... What I'm saying, it shouldn't matter, but mm -hmm. if you think about it, it does. He a black man, she killed him, she right, white, and she ain't and she, she ain't yeah, in jail. Day, it's like, oh, something must have been wrong with she her. She ain't in jail, state. so I just... Something I, must have been wrong with her. I, I do think that's wrong. They're saying there's a domestic violence in jail. dispute. But I am not about to sit up here and protest for a motherfucker that wouldn't piss on me if I was on fire. But you know, you have to be better than some people. Fuck that fucking turn the other chick cheek shit. Take the, the higher take the higher. When up. they go low, I'll go lower. Hey! That's, uh, that's me. me. That is me. I finally became my mother. Take that's the higher me. take the higher route because having 
the hatred in your heart weighs on way you. Know, on no, 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 no. It's I'm going to just say this. People say, forgive people. If you don't, you go away. They go and live their life for hell. It doesn't weigh on my heart. I'm sorry, if I don't like you, I don't like you. If I don't want to fuck with you, I don't fuck with well, you. Not, it doesn't weigh on my heart. Not, um, well, what I'm saying is not not messing with somebody. Because there's people that I don't interact Messy, with yeah, or yeah. socialize with. But I'm just saying, like, reading this story, even after I read the things that he was saying about black women, and I'm a black woman, I wasn't there like, well, fuck it, because he didn't like me anyway. I'm like, it's it, it still bothered me because he didn't deserve to lose his life. Well, and granted, he, he should have, like they always say about black women, he should have chose better, which yes. he should have. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's still I something he sad because he, he, he still lost his life, you know. But he got what he deserved. And we don't know all was, the backstory. I don't know of all it. the backstory, and I don't she care about the backstory. Very to him. But that's so. what I'm saying. I don't really care, but he got what he deserved. He got what he because wanted. I felt he like. Got, not yeah. what he, he got okay. what he wanted. Okay, yeah, that one. Yeah. He wanted a she, Caucasian woman, but he didn't want to be murdered. <laughs> but, but obviously, they had more problems than when she just stabbed him. Yeah, because. I'm she, sure they caught their friend, and I'm sure she pulled out. It was a white woman who posted about. Her actually killing him and how she's getting away with this saying how her and her boyfriend witnessed her slapping him around, punching mm-hmm. him, and abusing him like over the time of their friendship. And you know what? Some people... Okay, first I want to revert back to what I was saying about letting things bother you. Um, it does weigh on you because when you sit there and think about certain things that you dislike about other people or, or that you notice <laughs> about other people or the things that you read online it bothers you because when you express yourself about how you feel about it you mm-hmm. express most people express yourself with anger mm-hmm. like you have to let people be people and then just keep it going keep mm-hmm. it moving yeah. and maybe with the uh, gentleman uh, Toby maybe he had a, it was a deeper issue with him like maybe he felt like black women never want to date him Maybe he felt like all he can get was a Caucasian woman, and he flipped he it to flipped where he put, he put his anger mm, out. Well, I can't. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, get a black, I can't get a black woman. I'm just gonna just you know just hate him. But I don't think no one, no matter their pre- preference, unless they were like a really bad person, mm-hmm. should be murdered. I have to that. And I the reason why it. I say that, okay, I have a nephew. My nephew is very handsome. He said when he was a little younger. That black women didn't, black girls didn't like him. You know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. My other nephew said that too. Mm-hmm. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. So <laughs> I have two nephews. They're well, that was like what twenty something, and then they is what like eighteen, nineteen, and they both dated outside of their race. So they're not going around bashing black women. They have black. A black grandmother, black aunties, a, a black mother. It's okay um, to date out of your race, but, but don't put us some, down. Some mm-hmm. some guys honestly flip the hatred for black women comes from, stems from them not being able to date a black, a black woman. woman. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And you know I'm not what? saying it's right, but I'm saying psychologically. No, no. psychological like, and I want to say this because, you know, a lot of ideas... People might think I'm a little crazy or whatever, or that my mind is all over the place, but I honestly, I'm a logical person. I, I do get emotional, but I am very logical. I am a logical person. And this is what, like when my nephews, they, they came to me too, our nephews, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. If you don't wanna date a black girl, don't date a black girl. But one thing, uh, the main thing that's not taken into consideration when it comes to black girls, 60% of black girls are sexually assaulted before the age of 18. Really? 60% of black girls are sexually assaulted or molested before the age of 18. Wow. And that's a statistic that nobody talks about. So why you have all of these little girls running around with attitudes and they're scared of boys and they're mean to boys? I don't know if they scared of boys the way they be twerking. Don't well, no. Like no, 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 no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. What I have witnessed: a lot of 
a lot of uh, black women will overlook like the nerdy guy, the guy that would treat you good, good kind yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. Not have a fear of, well, I was sexually assaulted. That's why I don't want to date. Because they date other people. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying it, it, it would be different if that's where it, you know, where it was stemming from. Like they don't date any guy mm-hmm. because of what, what happened, happened to them when they were kids. Yeah. That's y'all know who y'all are talking to, right? I'm the nerdy black girl. I've always been. My own brother wouldn't hung, hang out with me. But we saying the nerdy black girl. what she's saying. No, but wait a minute. What I'm saying is, as a black girl, that like you, I get nerdy black guys. That wasn't just because they were nerds. There was other factors. You don't shower. You're musty. You or you're just not fucking interesting. Or you're unattractive. You don't brush your teeth. It has to do with that. It's not because they were nerds. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just it, saying in, in and general, also, it could be as a nerdy black girl who was attracted to nerdy black dudes. They shunned me. They didn't like nerdy black girls. And it could, and like you said, it could be vice versa. But I didn't. But I didn't carry that over to my adulthood. But everyone that's not handles, an excuse for me. Everyone to handles hate black dudes. The way you may handle something is not the way I would handle something. Well, I get the way that, you know yes. everyone is different. That's what I makes get the that, world. But I'm not around. coddling anybody. Nobody coddled me. Why the fuck would I be coddling guys for being nerds? I was a nerd. No, I'm, I'm not saying, gonna coddle no black dude because he was a nerd. I'm saying a lot of nerd. aggression that people have stems from something. It stems but there's from no, something. That's how you handle shit, and that's the reason why people don't fuck with you. Like if you can't handle a little bit of adversity. Like if this you guy, can't he that, was, it's not like he was out here. He problem. may have said some disrespectful things about black women on Twitter. He wasn't out killing black women. No, 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 He no, wasn't no. out I'm trying to have saying, a, a huge vendetta I'm, against no, black women. As far as this dude goes, that's everything what I'm he complained to. about, everything that he complained about black women, he said black women are ratchet. All they do is shake their ass. Black women, all they care about is being ratchet. But I'm saying, because he, he was, literally was killed by a white ratchet shaking her but ass. But I'm saying, I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. It's like the things that he is experiencing is the things that he's complaining about because he doesn't know how else to express what he's going through. That's literally what I'm saying. But he didn't like, blame her as a white woman no, for doing No, but I'm that saying shit. he's probably putting his anger out. And she out. was beating his oh, ass. Never mind. <laughs> I'm saying he's probably targeting the anger out on someone else. Like, you know how, uh, some, like you mentioned abused kids. You know how some kids are abused and they may do that to another kid or they may torture yeah. an animal. You know, I'm saying it's that people handle aggression in different, uh, you know, a certain way. So he's then a Caucasian woman who's all those things who claim about black women, but he's covering up something. Mm. That's what I was saying. Mm-hmm. No, I agree he, with you. I'm, yeah. I, I agree with you. But what I don't like is how this is the narrative is being pushed as far as society as a whole. When when it comes to society as a whole, they're making it seem like like when hit, hit the tweets he put about black women that carries on to like my nieces and uh you know my cousins and my family and me it doesn't because my daughter right now here is a turk and ratchet no, 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 girl no, 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 so it doesn't no. carry and over and don't, she's not on nobody TV being ratchet. know what it kind of your daughter is it, do, it doesn't carry over <laughs> well, for nobody me. Don't even my know. daughter when it doesn't does, carry over for me either wait I don't a think second, I'm, I'm a but, ratchet uh, black okay girl. no but it's not even just that him talking about the color of our private parts he don't, know what every, he don't know what color of vagina If I'm a dark-skinned black woman, my the color of mine is going to be different from a Not on the inside, woman. though. They're all but pink. But they're talking about how it looks ugly. And this isn't oh, the first time all that pink I've, on the This isn't the first time that I've heard that. I have no control That's over terrible, that. That's terrible to be talking Not like that. Not everybody's vagina He kind of ratchet to be talking like that. Yeah, he, he says shit what like that. What kind of person and, is and, that? And, and the fact that it keeps being pushed is always like some kind of excuse for why we can't call this shit out. It's wrong, period. To be talking shit about black women and then wanting for us to advocate for them when they get fucking fucked over by their preferences. I'm not out here protesting or advocating for anybody. No, I'm I'm just just saying saying the fact that it's expected. The fact that it's expected. No one's expecting everything that I I, I was saying. I I will say this. I'm I'm a little confused because I'm I'm listening to you because I don't get on Facebook and listen to what people say. I see all of this shit. But from my understanding, black men don't like us. They don't. 
from I'm getting this from Nisi. They don't. And they don't want nobody else to have it. They don't. So to me, that seems like envy. The they personal, must be envy of issue. us. Yeah, but ain't got nothing to do with it. Right. You have but your that's envy. If you have your preference already, this man was with this woman. A, a woman that he said he preferred, which I am all for interracial love. He people wants the white people. woman. He died by the yes. white woman. Okay. People are people. I, I don't give a damn. And we're giving him too are. much time. Yeah, we're going to move on from this. I just wanted to say this. I'm all for interracial love. I, shoot, there are so many different races of men that I'm attracted to. And I've never been attracted to one type of man. I just wanted to make that clear. I've never been attracted to one type of man. And... There's nothing wrong with men having different types of women, but for the fact that he was with a white woman that he claimed was his preference, and to still be disparaging black women on his free time says a lot. Why are you thinking about us if you're so happy with because your preferences? Because he, he's in a relationship with a white woman he probably don't even want to be with because she's beating his ass and he can't get the black woman that he want to get. So, so he's targeting us on Twitter. Down, so he's targeting us down. on Twitter. That's what I'm saying. You don't know... They be crazy. How, but you don't, exactly. You don't know psychologically how somebody is feeling. They be crazy. And a that lot of kind people, of stuff would not bother me. A lot of people me. take out their anger on things that they can't have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. But why wouldn't you, Ma, even you, you know, you be quick to like let people have it, you know, like tell them the truth. I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong. Oh. You know, but you target the people that actually piss you off. But she's you don't completely, just go off of, but her mind, her brain is not like the next person's mm -hmm. brain. No, I'm not. Everybody is different. I get that. I get that everybody is different. That's not what I'm saying. And it's only one Janice Jones. And they can, one of me. And they can talk no about it. It's only two. one of all of us. Like, well, I'm just next saying. Story we're gonna a lot to. of people be copying and wanting to be like other people. I just want to be me. Like, a good example would be, like, let's go into the story about Sierra. But I was going to say, I was going to say too, you can't generalize anyone. So yes. making a comment negatively about black women is ratchet. That makes you look dumb because not all black but women that's are not ratchet. How society sees it. But, Fuck society. But they should because but they that, don't because most people aren't logical. But that's what but I'm then saying. Why, but then I think if you know most people is nuts and not logical, that's why, why you argue you with them? It's like you can't yeah, generalize yeah. flowers. Flowers is different, you know, certain flowers are in certain seasons. They're different. They smell different. They have different colors. Yes. You can't generalize people. You, you shouldn't generalize a race. You shouldn't generalize yes, genders. I agree. That's all I'm saying. You no, can talk about right. the color of people, black women's vaginas, but you don't know what color mine is. Okay, let's you go down. <laughs> and if you're down here, you must <laughs> like it. I'm not going to get offended by those kind of comments because yeah. you don't know me personally. Yeah. You don't yeah. know, you know. I'm just any saying of that. that this. Is, you shouldn't let somebody yeah. no, make no, you feel a certain yeah. way. Yeah. It's not about make how it comments. makes me feel. I worry for about the little girls growing up and they have to deal and, with And you people. know what? Honestly, um, the little girls should, shouldn't even be seeing the stuff that's being said now. And hopefully they by do. hopefully by the the next time, the next generation, generation. It's, it's different. Hopefully they're getting, their parents are teaching them hopefully well. Hopefully they're, like, they, they're divesting. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. hopefully. Alright, <laughs> moving along. Um, so we're going to talk about Channing. Is that his name? Mm -hmm. From Pivot, the Pivot podcast. Sierra and, well, come he met about Sierra and Russell. Put up the picture. Bada -bing. You back? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So, um, the podcast Pivot. Uh, I've been hearing that word actually a lot lately. Sorry, off topic. But, um, so he was saying um, that Sierra is with Russell because of money. Her type is really the um, future is really her type. Like he was going in, and it's annoying how people keep targeting Russell and Sierra. Mm -hmm. But like I was saying from the last topic, people express their anger against something that they cannot have. Mm -hmm. So either he wants a healthy relationship like Russell and Sierra has, mm -hmm. or he's just because he ain't got Sierra. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I don't see why people are so upset with her and Russell. So what if Russell is, a, is considered a, a nerdy guy? Mm -hmm. Obviously, they and these, these thugs only get you killed, hurt, or with an STD, uh, okay. care about disease. 
So I don't understand. I don't get. It. I don't think she's with him because of the money. Right. Sierra has a lot of a lot of things she's doing. A lot mm-hmm. of businesses. Yeah, a lot she of has money ventures. too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they just a couple that got together and they're successful. Don't hate. Quit hating on black people. That's success. Su- say successful. successful. Yeah, because I ain't, so I don't care. <laughs> you are successful. But, hey, you got a house. Hey, I'm living, on the I'm living with y'all. But anyway, don't do that. It's only a few black happy couples. Um, you are so annoying. I just think we should yes. praise them. Thank you. And I Thank mean, you, you know, and try to Thank be you. let them be an example yes. for us. Because be to happy me, for them. they mm-hmm. look very happy. They're a beautiful yeah. family. That they are. And I I love it. I love it. I, I love seeing I love, people happy. I love me too. Together. I love yeah. seeing people. Especially, Especially black a black people. Yes. <laughs> We, we got to stop them. being so hateful towards each other because I'm going to tell you this. When we got out of slavery, well, I wasn't there. That's the truth. But <laughs> once they got out, you would think the black people would try to stick together. But it looked like the next generation after them, the generations after them, start growing apart and hating on each other. You mm-hmm. know, but... That ain't the way the world should be. I think yeah. everybody should. We should love be, each other. Yeah. Even though I don't care for a lot of people, but that's because they don't deserve it. Me to care for them. Like I go in a store, if somebody's rude to me, I'm be so rude. Back. Yes, I am so rude back. And you know, in slavery too, they used to make the men, the um, guys fight each other. Really? Men didn't go fight. Mm-hmm. Wow. They See? kept to the death. See? Mm-hmm. Like bullfighting. That's why we should be getting along and be happy. There's black couples and yeah, everybody make mistakes, but to be honest, I ain't seen Sierra and her husband do anything. They are wrong. so They don't like Sierra and Russell. They don't like um, so Serena and her guy. They don't like They that seem like they get along They're good. But you know what? They, I bet you they don't mess with Jay-Z and, and Beyonce. They say shit about them. They too. say shit, but Jay-Z a thug. They ain't going to mess with him. Well, they don't say that Beyonce did anything wrong. It's, they right. don't talk about her. Right. That's what I'm saying. You don't really hear right. them talk about I'm and glad that's a black her. couple. But you know her. what? At least they try to get over that and they happy. Mm-hmm. That's another black couple. But they don't see the same way with one Jada. They but you know what? I, I don't know why they hate Jada. It's a bad thing that we'll slap, you know. Chris Rock. Yeah, that was bad. But I'm happy they're a black couple and, and together. And their kids, like... Jaden fucking put clean water. He got clean water to fucking uh, Flint when the government wasn't doing it. He also has, has food, food trucks, trucks for, for the homeless, homeless people. Oh. He has food trucks for the homeless people. I he mean, you gotta so start. Yeah, we make mistakes. His but, daddy out here slapping people. But you know what? But he was wrong for that. About him too. Yeah, but he was wrong for that. But I can't understand why they trying to put that man in a rehab or he have to go to a rehab. He only... Slapped him. And if it Chris was a, Rock, one moment. if Chris Rock and he apologized, and if Chris Rock think it's okay, then I he think accepted Chris it. Chris Rock is more likely gonna sue him. I think he not gonna sue him. I think he's gonna. Sue well, him. he may, but he didn't want to. That's him just between yeah, them two, though. I don't think we should be getting in it because that's no, just between them two. To be honest, I will say because I will so. walk up and slap somebody too. I mean, it depends on what nerve you hit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I was trying to say last show, is that you never know how somebody's going to react to something. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. I find it very weird how the the way people are coming at Will Smith, this man has had a squeaky Mm -hmm. clean record his entire Mm -hmm. career. Will Eminem say Will Smith the guy cursing his raps to steal records what I do. He Mm -hmm. didn't even curse in his raps. Mm -hmm. Well, he's He's slapping people now, okay? Well, He's fed up. He did one thing. That's what I'm saying. He did one thing. That's what I'm saying. Him doing that one thing and he apologized. And now if Chris, enemy if Chris, one. right? They sent him to rehab and yes. shit like that, like he on some kind of major drug. Yes. And you got all these different bands, not 
brown skin bands, doing drugs on stage and falling out and having a funky good time and ain't nobody saying nothing about them. It was very inappropriate though. It, it was. was inappropriate I'm and unprofessional. But it was between was them wrong. too. No, if he I'm apologized and he, he accepted that but was it's wrong. not just between them too because he did it in front of the world. It would be different if he did it where nobody's seen it. Well, if Chris Rock feels some kind the of way, then you know. But what they you're did really it in front of everybody. What you're to realize is there are a lot of things that happen on camera, even done by white people, that's never gone to this mm -hmm. level of ventral of hatred mm -hmm. towards the person. Mm -hmm. And he's a sneaky But you person. know what? It's weird to me. I don't know. But I think their relationship, if they want to be together and be that's happy, people should leave them yes, alone. that's their business. Yeah. And people, oh, you need to divorce her. Yeah, it's not their place her. to that's say weird. that, though. That's yeah. Weird. That's it is weird. not their well, place. Well, let me say this, because you two love, love to bring um, a lot of race into things. So, Britney Spears had a conservative, 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 conservative ship conservative ship for years, and she's white, and that's because of her mental state. So has a, Amanda Bynes, and okay. she's white. No, 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 okay, but they mental had state. mental but state. But listen, who for Will Smith to get up there and slap that man? Something was going on. Him and Jada has already been put on blast. Her messing with August. Will Smith doing interviews with Oprah, crying and shit about the relationship and about the things that he's going through. So it's not it's not always about race. It's about his mental state. I didn't say that. I said it. Y'all both keep saying this. Like you no, mentioned no, no, the last no. time, Tommy Lee did this on stage and no, no, this no, happened no. on stage. I said him making a mistake. At least they're not trying to. Get, at least they're shit. not trying to appoint uh, the court isn't trying to have him appoint some uh, guardian appointed to him. That's something different. So it doesn't matter about race. It's all about actions and where your actions occurred and then what state that you in what state that you are in. Okay, we well, not all paralegals like you. A Wait a minute. No, we no. not all paralegals well, like you would understand hold that stuff. Let you know what me I mean? Just I'm just really saying quick. leave them because whole I have never alone. said in this, <laughs> in this situation when it comes to what I was arguing. I was not arguing race. I'm but actually you, I'm arguing saying, sex. Y'all can't sexism. forget because Kanye should have been under the conservatorship, and I said that I'm talking about sexism, not racism. No, y'all. You mentioned sexism. Tommy Lee or whoever because last show. Yeah, last you show. mentioned white bands I doing did. drugs on st I stages. Did. I'm just saying, don't forget the white people that has had legal actions and legal guardians appointed well, to them that's not because of their I mental said. state. They're not trying to give Will Smith an appointed guardian. That's not what but I you know, said. But if you look I at think, this, this is where, where I'm mixed up. But if you look if at they the, gave him some kind of guardian for walking up slapping somebody, that's said. crazy don't as hell because that's the only thing he ever they did. They gave Britney Spears one for shit. But you know what? She was crazy. They could say Will Smith is crazy. They could say Will Smith is crazy for a slap. Them. All she did Kanye was get her uh, her fade on and get a paparazzi <laughs> with the, the windshield with an umbrella. And she was stuck for 8, 10 years with a I've been shit. defending Brit Britney for the longest. I'm just saying. Mine is about sexism. I'm just I never saying. said anything. Now it's about You're sexism. Gonna, no, hold on. Now it's no, about no, sexism. No, I, said. I didn't say that. Okay. I said all oh, that. Did, tell me when okay. did I say that. I just told you last show, you mentioned the bands, Tommy Lee, whoever. No, I said that they didn't have that much and, I, and you said that they didn't do anything. And I said because of social media. I said, uh, well, I, 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 said, said but I'll keep mentioning it. I didn't mention right. I'm just saying, if you guys look at what's been going on in the past two years with Will Smith with the crying and the interviews, all this stuff, it seems like his, his mental state is declining. Oh, it's like he's I going through something. That. When he did the I interview with Oprah, was he was crying, and that's what made them do they start making back. a little meme of him, you know, crying about it. Jada coming out and saying that she did mess with August. Like all those things is playing a factor to his mental state. So for him to get up there and slap Chris Rock wasn't right. Mm -hmm. He deserves. No, I don't think. In my opinion, right. if he's getting treatment, he deserves the treatment. If he's getting held accountable for his actions, he should be. You preach how everybody should be held accountable for their actions. Absolutely. Why would he be, you know, any different? Did, did I say that he should not? Everyone punished? should be accountable for their actions. Did I not? But say let's that? go to see. No, hold now. on a second. No, because I have to address what you just said. Because you completely just misconstrued everything. And I said I never said anything like that. That this was about racism as far as Will Smith goes. I said as far as Will Smith goes that there are people that have done way worse stuff at the academy. I haven't seen anybody get banned from attending the academy for 10 years from something as simple as that. 
Like, and I'm not saying that Will Smith is right. What they, they, hold on a second. What they did it hold on a second. The, because I never academy. said that that was right, what he did. I said that there, there have been people, and I never mentioned race. As, as far as, like, Britney Spears goes and the conservatorship with her and her doing crazy shit, I then said last show what I said was Kanye should have been put on the conservatorship all the shit he had been doing, Britney Spears did something way less. And I So why do y'all feel like Will Smith is being overpunished? Because he is. They trying to uh, ban him from things and making him go to rehab. It, it's just a whole bunch of bullshit when, when John, to me. When John Wayne was trying to run up on stage to attack the Indian girl for saying that you shouldn't dehumanize Native Americans in movies, and he was trying to fight her, and mm. they had security fucking holding him back. He wasn't banned. Did he hit that, her? Because the did he hit her? Did he her. hit her? But he was trying to But hit did her. he hit her? What, he was Security didn't violent. even try to he stop was Will Smith. To be Security allowed Will Smith he to go on stage and slap Chris Rock. He so it's not the same be thing because he didn't even it get is to the complete. Same thing. He didn't. He, it is his the same intentions thing. was not completed. His, he did but, but not he, get he, to he, harm he her. Up. He didn't get to he hit her. Will Smith. like somebody stopped me like, hey, come You know what's funny? Is they let Will Smith walk up on stage without Security stopping him? To what? You're, you're arguing that nobody is saying what he did was I'm right. Not, I'm saying there have been other listen, people that did Listen, I'm not arguing. Acts. You're giving your debate, and I'm giving my debate, and we're debating. I'm not arguing. You're mm-hmm. giving your statement. I'm responding to your statement. We're not arguing. And my response to that is it's the same thing. It's not. Just because security caught John Wayne it's doesn't not. make his actions any less Okay, worse. so mama reach and take a flower out of there, and she's successful at it. If I try to and you stop me, I'm and not supposed to continuously trying to get at the flower, even though you're but listen, me, that's still but the did, same thing. But did I reach the did it I grab the flower? It doesn't matter, you're doing the same thing. But did thing. I grab the flower? Did it I grab the flower? Matter. It doesn't you matter. Had, you didn't get to grab it if she stopped you, but it's exactly. the same but action. y'all. It's, it's the same action. We, okay, we do got to move along. So let's talk about Sierra. And you didn't get to say what you want to say about Sierra and the Channing guy making his statement. Oh, I find, oh, God. You and your mouth, girl. <laughs> I am very professional when I speak. No, you, no, you're very I'm great. not aggressive. You're, no, no, I just, you debate, I, I you, you debate, sister. I debate. I love you. <laughs> I, I love you very much. See, you you're attempted to kiss me, but you didn't, so. Because it doesn't count. my fucking no. titties <laughs> are in the way of the table. Y'all but remember anyways. we having a show going on here. But anyways, um, <laughs> so with Sierra and Russell, what bothers me is that people are like the dude Channing. Did, do we have an image of that? Yeah, he put it up. Okay. Like he put it up like forty minutes ago. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyways, put it back up, Elijah. <laughs> yeah, put it back up because we went off the rails. Uh, the picture of Channing, Sierra, and Russell. All right. Okay, so basically, he had went on saying that uh, Russell is a cornball and that. Uh, Sierra, you don't go from future to uh, somebody like Russell. She's only with him for his money, is what he said. And a lot of dudes are saying that, they, and there's this, something that Lil Duval said was, went viral on social media. He tweeted, uh, a lot of women pass up Russell's for futures because they're broke, is what the tweet said. And I completely disagree with everything about that that's such bullshit because for this I think you might have said that the opposite way you said they pass up they pass up broke Russells oh for futures oh okay the rapper future oh okay because remember Sierra has a her first child is by future and Russell raised that child as his own and they have other kids together now and men hate him for that what bothers me the most about this is that they say, like there was a post that this guy made that went super viral saying that he saved, Russell saved Sierra. And all of these single mothers are thinking that they can get a Russell when they, like the whole nice guys finished last thing. Like you should have picked the right guy the first time. Like uh, Sierra doesn't deserve Russell because she should have picked Russell first before she picked 
future. And then any woman that has a child, and if she can't make it work with her child, then uh, her child's father, if she can't be with him, then she should just give up on ever mm-hmm. finding a man ever again in her life. This this weird. That's what he said. Yes, this is the well, not the Channing guy, but the after he said she don't really want Russell. She I think they look future. beautiful together. And I they think make they a happy. beautiful family. They I think a they A beautiful happy. family. But what they're getting at is they hate the idea of a woman that was a single mother who maybe didn't, you know, have the right boyfriend at first. She had a baby with future. And they want her to be punished. Like, he even, the, there was a post where a guy was like, let these single mothers suffer, is what he said. Where you know what make me mad about the single mother stuff? The man be the one making the mother single. It's the mm-hmm. man that's not stepping up to be fathers. The mother, the mo- single mothers is being mothers and fathers. Well, I you can't blame. That. I don't care. You can't. I'm not that I don't no, care what you saying, but I don't care what nobody say. A, about single moms because they they raise them kids and you by were themselves. a married woman yeah you i was married, married at first but i ended up being single i had to raise y'all by myself yes you know but hey they could talk and about they try me to all say they there's a the difference between you and a woman that just never married her baby's father Why? She, if, if, i don't know i don't know see that's what i think is kind of crazy to me and then mind you if y'all was together the single moms were with somebody before they became single moms. It's some sorry ass men that made them single moms. And they have I no would be praising, but I would be praising a single mom that would stand up there, even though the man ain't no good. She was smart enough to walk off and leave that sorry ass man, and she raising that kid by they sit by herself. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, you're absolutely Cause right. Because mothers you're don't right. normally walk yeah, away. Well, the men walk like we're away. Wrong. What they're saying is that we're wrong F- for taking care of our children. And they, saying, sound like they, the children. they sound and you know like idiots. They sound like idiots. You look at what the, the way they respond to men like Nick Cannon, who has in future. They have multiple children. Multiple That's women. what I'm saying what now. They, say, they them all. Mm-hmm. No, look at all them women. They didn't that. Men, they say about those men, oh, they have enough money to take care of them. But the women that had the kids with them, they're like, they should have known better. He already had a kid with somebody else. They made a horrible, People they're horrible. People are too judgmental That's to what me. they they're do. Too That's judgmental. what the message is Because being to be to. honest, they should be praising single moms. And, yeah. and you know what's funny is there, there was a post. The reason why I brought up Sierra and Russell with this is because this is a like deeper, deeper issue. Like, what Russell did was kind of like, you know, he, what a lot of men do. A lot of men do. They'll meet a woman that they fall in love with and she has one or two children. And they get with them and then they have multiple other children. Mm -hmm. And they're happy. They have a life. And men that feel like women that didn't pick them when they were younger. Because Maybe she didn't know no, him. like when we were talking about the nerd dudes, mm-hmm. like the dudes that feel like, oh, I'm a good catch. Women should be picking me. Oh, she picked the, the girl that I had a crush on, picked this dude, and then they broke up, and now, oh, she's open to finding other dudes. She should have stayed with him, or she should have picked me first. It's some weird ass bullshit. That's like, why I wouldn't let it get me upset. And what bothers me is that yeah. they expect women to automatic be clairvoyant and psychic and know automatically a man is going to do right by her and pick him first. There's no way of anybody doing that. And they don't even hold themselves to that standard. That's what I'm you saying. You understand that when you get with a woman that she may not be the wife for you. If she takes advantage of you and she does you dirty, you learn the lesson and you're going to choose better next time, right? But you don't extend, extend that to women. And that's what they're doing to Sierra. You know, they're mad at Sierra, and she they ain't don't paying them no attention because she look like she has. She she yeah. is. She's been with. They've been together for almost ten years, and they have what four children. There's like four. She ain't of them. thinking about what people say because they, they still go down there looking good, doing their little dances and call. Mm-hmm. Hey, she knows. And she understand that people is jealous. That's where I'm finna start getting to. I hope. That's what you got. I want to get to the point people. where ignore people. Yes. You know, and say fuck them. Like I did in that picture. Yes. You know, I want to get it. to that point. And like, 
Tupac saying right now. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. Fuck them. What you got to say? Don't let yeah. people rain on your parade. Because the way people is arguing and getting upset, that's what the men want you to do. But they one want you I upset. I think a lot of people, too, say things for clout. Yeah, yeah. But one thing I want to talk about is one, like, when I asked, there was, because I'm always on social media to, you know, have, think of things that we could talk about on our show. And I'm, I asked one dude in particular, I was like, why are you upset about, you know, the type of woman that another man chose? And he's like, I just feel like he could have did better. He could have found a woman that didn't already, he could start his own family. He would already have, he can make his own family, not an already made family. There's nothing like, wrong with it. What do you mean it, by an already kid? made family? And you she know, has this the is one what's kid? crazy about me in the black community. In the black community, we shun children. We Black men hate children. They hate children they're not, that they're not blood related to. And that's where it's me. Because I always think about, I remember I babysit every, everybody's kids. Because I love children. I'll tell you who didn't hate kids. My grandfather. He sure uh, uh, my, didn't. My he dad. Claimed, dad everybody, claimed yeah, he kids. claimed every kid <laughs> every that kid. came to him. Every <laughs> kid that came to him. He was like, that's my baby. And he mm-hmm. took care of it. But it's weird to me. Oh, my grandfather generation. too. Sorry. Because. You have two older sisters. Yeah, yeah. That's not biologically by your father. Yeah. So yeah. there are well, black see, men. Well, see, there's mm-hmm. a different. They're saying that there's something wrong with that now. So now we hate black children. We hate. If black anybody children. mess with my grandkids or anybody in my family, they gonna see Janice no, Jones but, coming. But you leave why my women, babies alone. Why, I wouldn't pay them no attention to be want honest. To date and they're like, you know how you get with somebody and they be. And some women just said, forget it, to be honest. It's not that they not happy. Some women happy by themselves. I'm happy by myself. You know what I mean? I'm happy I by don't, myself, too. I'm so happy by myself. And this I would a, go. How old are you? Mind telling how old you are? 62. Looking like she's 26. Looking like she's 26. Oh, that's sweet. But I like being by myself. I don't care that yeah, I don't have no a drama. man. I don't have a problem in the world. I do what I want to do. I cook when I want to cook. Yeah. I eat when I want to eat. Yeah. I go where I want to go. Yeah. I enjoy not having a man. Mm. Yes. They too fucking needy if you ask they me. Give yes. me this. Feed me this. Oh, Lord, don't no, let them get sick. Oh, mm. mama, thank you. Mama, mm. preach it They today. too fucking mama needy if you today. ask me. And then when men ask why a lot of women say, and they're, they're like, oh, you you not happy by mm. yourself. Yes, yes, we are. Yeah. Yes, we I are. Know I and am. Like my mom is living proof. She's 62 mm. years old. And I love and it. she loves it. She I was sad when I got divorced at first, but I didn't know how much fun it was not (laughs) having a man. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to experience it. I didn't know how much fun it was and how nice it would be be not being with the norm. Yes, and I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it more than being married. You know, obviously, I've been, ever since I've been divorced, I haven't been married again. Yeah. I I, I love it. I really do, because I feel like you can... If you have small kids, you can put more attention to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can, instead of the men acting like a baby, yep. you can take care of the real babies. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. See, this is, I'm so glad my mom said that this is what I would say because a lot of dudes that I also interact with, because I do research so that we can have conversations. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them say, oh, these women that go past 40, 50, they're miserable and they're mm-hmm. sad and they're alone. Like, <laughs> they're like, no, no, hey, that's a lot. No, they're not going to get their freak <laughs> on. <laughs> I always say to them, they, they love saying to women, you're going to die alone, mm-hmm. buy a dog and die alone. They love saying that. It's usually But I am going to get a alone. dog, but I'm and not going to die alone. Dogs are, animals are animals way better than humans. are very more mm-hmm. reliable than humans. Yep. But uh, they like to say that, and the truth of the matter is, is that uh, women usually, even single mothers that people like to talk down on, are surrounded by their kids, their grandkids. They're surrounded by it's family. a different type of love. It's a different type of love. It yep. doesn't have to be a, a man. It doesn't a sorry have to be a ass man. <laughs> and most men, the ones that are spewing this crap, they the ones are going to die ones alone. Dying alone in the house with no kids visiting them because you ain't been a part of their lives their whole thirty years or whatever the case may be. It's usually the men dying mm-hmm. alone. Women, even single mothers, whether you're married or not, because even married women are widows. Mm-hmm. They, when they die, they're usually widows. Their husbands die before them. So 
they're usually dying surrounded by their kids, mm -hmm. their grandkids, mm -hmm. their nieces and nephews. And that's what usually happens with women. So when men go out there, oh, uh, you're going to die alone. Buy a dog and die alone. Like, you're not threatening me. It sounds like you're projecting your own insecurities because you're more liable to die alone than me. Period. Mm -hmm. All right. So we kind of went. What's our time? It's long. Almost an hour. All right. So I'll make this real quick. Uh, we were going to discuss that. I did put it up as a topic. I know sometimes we'll put up a topic and not be able to get to it and I don't address it. So the Black Lives Matter, um, mm -hmm. they're being investigated. The woman that started the Black yeah. Lives Matter um, wow. Foundation. Mm -hmm. So they use six, well actually it's misused um, funds. They use $6 million to purchase a luxury California home. So they, yeah, bought themselves a house in Cali. They spent mm. $6 million. Um, but they're saying that it was supposed to be like help used to like um, hold interviews and do their taping on their shows. So don't have a lot of time to go into detail. So look that up on our page. I posted that story on our IG hmm. and our Facebook and our Twitter. That's so sad. cocktails with T and the J's and, and also cocktails and opinions. You guys ladies got quick comments for that? I do. I feel like they, you have to spend money in order to build. They were trying to, like the school Dr. Umar never built, they at least built something. They got the house for where they're going to do what they were supposed to do. Well, they but, said that they're actually, po that they have plans to, um, I think they were supposed to sell it. Now, that yeah. all of the controversy. But now, why before that, they said that, that part of the plan was when they got it, where they was going to sell it but, after two years. Oh, but what I'm saying is but the money was for. Right? Okay, know, it's still tell me what the money was for. Donations for the Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. For them to be able to continue the cause. And that oh. might be getting space. But that's, the, but that's the thing, too, that I never understood about a lot of. Um, the donations when it comes yeah, to charities. Because and like that. where yeah. is the money? What is it what being is used for? for? Unless yeah. it's like used to pay for like treatments for people that have, you know, these diseases. That's or, what I was going to ask you. Okay, if. They got in trouble for buying a home. What did they want them to and do? And you know with the what money? they should have used with that money kids. for? Funerals for yeah. those yeah. Yeah. who that can't afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Nice college funerals. College. Yeah, that's true. Because college if it's going to a movement, it should be going back to the, into the community. That's true. So that's what they should have done with yeah. it. Help the families. You know, mm -hmm. some people may have lost a, a husband, mm -hmm. you know, a, a wife. Okay. A child, some, that makes sense. But just mm -hmm. like with that makes sense. But just like, I feel like, because these are black women, no black dude involved here. And it's they made, did something wrong, though. No, they did do if something If they bought wrong. them a house, instead of helping no, all them people that, that you know. And yeah, they also had, uh, I think they had two members leave. Yeah, they did. They did. Why? So, Probably because they was mistreating the mommy, money. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to be involved in that. But you got to think about yeah. that. I'm going to donate $200. This guy lost his life. Right, and you think it's helping them? Where's yeah? And you the think really it's helping them? I don't think. I think. Period. No, regardless of what the case may be, just like the Dr. Umar situation mm -hmm. and the school, there's no way to build uh, to donate to an idea. Yeah, but he was literally going to have a school where kids would attend. But he got millions no, of dollars, and they wasn't letting nobody happen. up in this uh, house. It was them. It's the same situation, yeah. you know. I, I just think I think they should have did a, funerals, you yeah, know, because that's, that's, that's what, what I, I would mean. think. No, I, I don't even think. Funerals. Or you could have gave money. Yeah, you could have sent some of the but kids, I'm saying the like, other kids, yeah. sent but I'm saying the like, any, anything. like the, the descendants of the people that were killed. That's what I'm saying. Like, like not only funerals, yeah. like something. Like yeah. I was saying about the diseases where you donate to like the cancer center. Yeah, they yeah. going yeah. to research. Mm -hmm. You know, like you donate to the animals. Mm -hmm. it's going I to, do the animals and St. Jude. It's yes. going for like because mm -hmm. at St. Jude's they literally don't charge the family yes. anything. So yes. of course you know that that money is being used for that. Yeah. Well, the animals they have to be fed. Yeah. So what you donate? And then they go get they go get them home as well. That's locked up and chained like up. That, that yeah, stuff is yeah, sad. Yeah. If you can afford forty dollars a month, that would be. It now that warms my heart mm -hmm. that I do that. I've always wanted to. I used to tell y'all before. Yeah, you yeah. know, I want to donate to these animals mm -hmm. and and children with cancer because that's a good thing. You know, I don't know about getting money and what you're supposed to do with it, but mm -hmm. if you're doing something good, it. Nothing can never go wrong, but yeah. you have to do the right thing. Yeah. You can't just right. say, I'm going to buy me I mean, this. If, if they're doing know. something foul, they need to be fucking yeah. held accountable for it. 
put a they putting a bad name on all the black matters. So now that bothers me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's and people I did think it's a lost cause, honestly. But and, that's messed uh, up. BLM is dismantled. That's messed up. Okay, Diddy. Like Diddy said. Uh, <laughs> he being a, you see how the band want their money from Diddy? Yep, they going The all the band? D-A-B-A-N-D. I know, I love the band. I love the band. Saying like they weren't getting the the their, the money. Um, they was complaining they when the show was going on. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was and then you know was people been on. saying for years that Diddy wasn't paying yeah. his yeah. artists right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, That's why he can get all in the videos yeah. and but you get, got, but, be on the yacht. <laughs> and when you think about like when you look at um like the, how we were saying the um the hell we were just talking about the um not protest but. But Black Lives Matter? No. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. We didn't talk about Like the so organizations, much. but oh. it's called charity. Oh. So when, okay, so you have to think about these organizations that are for charity. If they're spending their time traveling, going to meetings, doing all these interviews, they also don't have a steady job. Mm-hmm. So we're already getting the money from yeah. them to live up to their lifestyle. Yeah, that's true. Right. And same with, uh, you know, like Diddy. Yeah, you know? This yeah. thing ain't making no albums. Yeah. But he produced a lot. Hello. And they take Good a lot man. from you. It's better to be independent. Yeah. Uh, independent artist. Okay. So, um, I guess, honestly, we're done. <laughs> Let you ladies have any closing statements. I didn't talk myself to death. I kind of was all over the place. There was a lot more that I wanted to oh. get on. But Go ahead. Yeah. No, I mean, just like... <coughs> as far as the Sierra, there is a. As far as the Sierra Russell situation, there was a post that was made. There was an article that was posted on the New York Times, uh, post New York Post page, basically yeah. saying it was uh, should more black women marry white men, and there was like a backlash about it. And uh, a lot of black men were saying it was propaganda, including Dr. Umar. He did a whole, like, podcast video that was, like, an hour or something long where he was saying why this was wrong and propaganda. But basically, the guy who wrote the article, I even mentioned this earlier when we talked about it, he was basically saying that uh, college-educated black women have a harder time finding husbands. You know how they love to throw... People love to throw in black women's face that we're the least married. Like, and I talked about this on my brother's podcast, who I haven't talked to in a while. But this is what it is. It's like black women are the least married, and they love saying that we're the least desired. But the truth of the matter is, is that we're just not open to dating out of our race. We, we're loyal to black men. We want to always be with black men, and we're just not open to the idea of dating other races. And this study was done by a black man who's married to a black woman that finds that if black women were to open up their options, they're liable to find husbands and have stable families because most non-black men, you know how they say, uh, what's going around now in like the manosphere is that like we don't care about your education We don't care how much money you make that doesn't attract a man. We don't in fact that turns you off. You're disqualified It intimidates you, a man. Yeah, you're disqualified if you have those things Whereas non-black men will say I want a woman that's educated. I want a woman that's strong I want a woman that makes a lot of money and, and they're usually not black and when women do open black women in particular when they open up their options to other races they usually find husbands. And this guy was just basically trying to get black women to be open. You know, just open your ideas. Don't be limited to black men because black men know, and this is why I feel like nothing is changing in the black community. Black men know that black women don't want anything but black men. Well, that's not true. I'll date shame you on, shame on them that. then. No, but they, if they there, really they want a husband that. or a man, they'll start they dating out a race though. But, but black men know that most black women prefer black men. And so because but of that's that, crazy. they're not going to change. They're going to always blame you for everything wrong. I, if you open to up be your honest, options, you're going to find a husband. I would never, the men I know, the black men I know, don't act like them men that you be 
following on Facebook. Well, I, and stuff. I feel like like I feel I don't feel like my father is like that. That's what I'm saying. I the black people like I know like is well, not actually, like that. I've had a couple of my brothers say, "Oh, white women are better." You know, I've had brother a couple of my brothers say that to me, but they have a different tune now after so many years. But it's true. If and and the sad thing is, the statistics show that when black women do open up their options and marry out of their race, their their marriages last longer. I bet they last. But longer. I don't know no men like. <laughs> so all I want to say she be dealing is with, that black yeah, women I don't know what I don't options. know who. Like I don't know who what Facebook people you follow or things like that. But luckily I have. She came seemed like she that. follows some evil ones that don't no, like I, black people. You know what? Women. The, I'm in a lot of Kevin Samuels groups. Why? Mm. Because I'm just curious to what the hell is Girl, going cu- on. Curiosity killed that cat. Oh, that cat is dead. Cause you know what? Fuck so being y'all curious. Don't like Kevin Samuels. No. Uh-uh. But you know why he's so full of shit? Is his life perfect? (laughs) Then he can't tell me shit about mine. He has a huge following. Well, fuck them people following him sound like they full of shit. I agree. Okay. Both of y'all are right. Because girl, that's crazy. I don't know why. This is why I'm saying this is because I want black women to not feel like they're obligated to be with just black men. Oh, because, girl, I don't know <laughs> no men like that. I don't know what kind of Facebook you in. They Kevin is Samuels, awful. he is. Oh, my God. You know what? Speaking of Kevin Samuels, there was, he, he did an interview with a woman who has a five-year-old daughter. She was like, she's looking for a man. And he told her, what would you do if you're, say, you, you get married to a man and y'all had two kids after your daughter and she's 15 and she comes to you and says, oh, he was looking at me while I was in the shower. And he and the woman said, it's over. It's done. Mm-hmm. He looked at my daughter. He said, but why are you just going to believe the daughter? And, and, and then what about the other two kids? Is what he said. Basically advocating for pedophilia. In sense. Yeah, because I was like, going to say, what is he trying to say? And, and then he said, he said, well, I'm going to take my two kids what about our two kids together? What are you going to tell them about why you broke up with me because your daughter that isn't mine? Like, they hate children. They hate children. They better not mess children, with my grandchildren. Especially black girls. Uh-uh, they uh, they fuck children. with my one. They hate children. My you know, two little granddaughters, it'll be a problem. And you know, a lot of unprotected kids grow up to be, have Just a mindset like of said. Kevin Samuel. Just what? Like I said. Just like I'm I saying, said. like, you know. A lot of things stem. Your childhood shapes you. Yeah. Kevin Sam's probably got touched probably. as a kid. Cause I think he gay. He had a man in his bed. Mm. Yes. He probably oh, got, that's the he one. probably okay. got touched as a kid. Mm-hmm. Told his mom, got like and of she followers. didn't do. She nothing. didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. And now he has PTSD. Mm-hmm. But he's giving advice to women that are like taking heed of the men telling, yeah, this is the case, this is right. Where they're just blaming women for everything that men do. But I hate to say this, but when other people and people that's not in my life have an opinion about me, I don't give a damn. Shouldn't phase you. That's how everybody again, I don't give a damn. Again, you can't generalize. Mm-hmm. You can't, but I don't really give do. a damn. Well, I that, swear that to God, goes I back don't. to the point that uh, that we were the original topic of the guy who got killed by the white girl. All the shit he was talking mad shit about black women. Now they expecting black women to rally behind and want this woman arrested. I don't give. And a you fuck. know what? They can't expect anything because we don't have the ultimate say. Mm-hmm. It's the judge mm-hmm. and the jury. They want us mm-hmm. being in the street marching, it ain't, mulling, so. But why would that do anything? Again, it's up to the judge and the jury. Unless mm-hmm. we get picked to be one of the jurors, then we ain't got no say in nothing. Yeah. And that's for every every but, case. But, but, and, and that's you, what kind of bothers me what you're missing, about the but what you're missing and the is Twitter. They're marching for there to be a case in the beginning because she hasn't been charged. They're marching for her to be charged in the first place. Well, whoever marching, they must feel like they, they should. They want black women to be marching well, for her I'm to not be gonna, charged. No, I don't care I'm what the expectations are. She is. hasn't even been charged Listen, yet. They can't put their expectations on me. Never expecting but this from anybody. Why should believe these? Because there's going to be protests. Watch and believe there's going to be a lot of black women protesting for this woman to be charged. And then they might look into it. She's going to get off probably. Well, if they, if they decide to protest, don't let that affect you. No, I'm just saying. I'm just making this I don't think it's, if he felt that way about black women, I'm going to be honest. 
and did all that on Twitter and stuff, mm -hmm. the only black people going to be at his funeral or even care it's is his family. family. And I feel bad for his family. Yeah. Okay. Right. So those were your closing statements? That's, that's my closing statements. All I right. went into a whole other tangent, but I'm sorry. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> I am. Like, yeah. I'm for. I'm an advocate for black women and children, period. Don't let anyone else's opinion upset you. Yeah. Don't set expectations for anyone else. Don't set them for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if they think he was trash, fuck them. Don't support them. Don't let anybody generalize you. And that's it. Black that's women. It. Black, black women, you got a lot of power. Hold your power. Mm -hmm. Stop advocating for motherfuckers that wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. So they ain't wouldn't have to piss on me. I'll go on fire and get my own water. Okay. Or, or, but or, but stop, stop dropping your own. You want to get your own water? They should be going to get their own water too. But I ain't out there protesting. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, don't go <laughs> That's protest. what I'm saying. What they expect of black women they ain't I'm expecting for me because I ain't in that. Women stop that I ain't, shit. I ain't they don't give I, a I fuck about I can guarantee you, you if he was that disrespectful like you say, and all the comments I don't are, think it's going to be too much. All the comments that I've seen on our page is step back. Step back. Yeah. Step back. So, all right. Well, that's our show. See you next week. We enjoy y'all listening to us because I know I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm an embarrassment. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.